There actually is a two, three mile per hour wind today. And I had put up a PMA with just two blades. And it is a stationary uh, windmill, horizontal one. And I was surprised that even with two blades it turned. So I went and uh, dug up my other blades and I attached them all together. I've been working on this for a while. These are PVC blades, which I generally don't like, but I've been reinforcing them with a uh, galvanized metal strip. These are riveted, and I purposely made them a little wider in case I need to cut down or shorten. I was so excited that when I had two of them, it was turning. I immediately installed the rest. I haven't even balanced them. For one thing, I don't have a scale of some kind that I can balance the blades on. But I figure I'll put them out and see how it spins. And we'll go from there. I have the mount already. Getting a pole is also a little problematic because I won't be able to install this really high up. So this is more like a toy for me. Of course, in an emergency, if you really need power, you could put this up. But it's not completely useless. So it turns fairly fairly easily. Of course it's not like the axial flux, but you can see that it turns fairly nicely. So this is a slant core 7 magnet PMA. It's in DC. Probably better if it is in AC so the wiring can be uh, more easy to connect. But it's okay. It's uh, like a generic rewound PMA. So, this is how it sits on the test pole and I'm going to look at it this afternoon and tonight and see if it will turn at all. I'm hoping it will because if it doesn't move at all I'm not going to bother with, with it too much. It would be nice to set it up on that utility pole. The cable guy was teasing me. He said he'll put it up for me. Wouldn't be too nice. He'll cut all the utility wires. I don't think people would be happy with that. So here's how it looks in my yard for the moment. I'll get a little taller test pole, maybe like an eight foot pole and see how it goes.